It's ready. It's ready. She want invited. <laughs> oh, my people, it's ready. You are all invited. Invited. The jollof rice is ready. <laughs> Hi, lovely people. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to share with you how I make my Ghanaian jollof rice. The most simplest, but yet delicious jollof rice my way. So here are the ingredients. Uh, corn beef. So I have here some corn beef. Bay leaf. One maggi stock cube. Nutmeg. Salt to taste. Chicken stock. And I have in here a mixture of um, ginger, onions, red bell pepper, garlic, and habanero pepper. And I'll be using, um, and I'll be using crushed tomatoes. I have here rice, and I have here about three tablespoons of tomato paste. I'll be using shrimp, so I have here some shrimp. And I have here herring powder. I have two tablespoons each of the shrimp and the herring powder. I got it from my local African market. And vegetable oil. So I have here my extra virgin olive oil. I have my oil on fire now and it's heated. So at this time I'm going to add in the tomato paste to it. And let it be on fire for about five minutes. So guys, it's been five minutes now. And at this time, I'm going to add in the uh, onion mixture. That is the onion, the bell pepper, the habanero pepper, the ginger, and the garlic into it. So now we have in the onion mixture, so we're going to let it be on fire for about 8 to 10 minutes. Then we add in the tomato crush. So it's been 20, so it's been 10 minutes, so it's been 10 minutes after we added in the onion mixture to the, to the stew. So at this time, I'm going to add in the tomato crush. We have in the tomato crush now. So we're going to stir it in and let it be on fire for about 20 to 25 minutes. Then we continue. I'm going to cover it at this time and stir it every 3 to 4 minutes. Our stew has been on fire for 15 minutes now, so at this time I'm going to add in all the spices together with the shrimp powder and the fish powder to it at this time. And let it cook for additional 10 to 15 minutes, then we continue. So now the stew is ready, so I'm going to add in the washed rice. I'm going to wash the rice and then add it in and add in the chicken stock and the corned beef to it and then I will taste for salt. If more salt is needed, then I'll add a little bit. Guys, I'm going to bake this rice in the oven. I'm going to going I'm going to bake this rice. So I'm going to after I mix everything together uh, on the fire, I'm going to transfer it into a, an aluminum pan then cover it with aluminum foil and put it in the oven for one hour so guys now it's been three minutes so i'm going to transfer it into the aluminum pan i'm going to pour it in the into the i'm going to pour it into the aluminum pan then i will add in the chicken stock to it and taste for salt if more salt is needed then i will add more salt to it 
but guys if you don't have an oven what you do at this time is that at this time you add in the chicken stock to it and see if the uh, you add in the chicken stock to it and check if more a little water a little more water is needed then you add it in then we'll cover it and let it be on a low heat let it be on a low heat and you check on it continuously to prevent it from burning and let it cook be on fire for about 45 minutes then your rice will be ready so now I'm going to add in the chicken stock to it at this time So guys, that is how it's looking after I added in the chicken stock. You don't need to add more water. It depends on the kind of rice that you are using. So in this recipe, I'm using jasmine rice. So this is how it's looking like. So at this time, I'm going to cover it with aluminum foil and then put it in the oven. So guys, this is it. Our jollof rice is all done now and it's looking very nice guys look at the grains of the rice because how look at how it came out to be it's looking all nice and beautiful and guys the smell from this jollof rice it's something so guys this is how I make my jollof rice you can eat this with chicken, fish, eggs, stir fried vegetables, shito, guys, you can add stew to it. You can eat it with anything that you want. You can eat it with chicken, goat meat, lamb, beef, pork guys anything that you have you can eat it with it so guys this is how i make my jollof rice so lovely people my beautiful family if you love this video please give it a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell for future uploads i hope you love it and you will give it a try so guys please leave a comment what do you think about this recipe don't forget to leave a comment about it so this is how i make my jollof rice recipe thank you so much for watching and to my all the new subscribers i say thank you so much and god bless you for everything for being there always watching my videos and for those who are yet to come i say that you are welcome to the channel and i hope that you find something interesting on the channel to keep you there so thank you once again god bless everyone and have a great day bye bye guys bye bye beautiful people bye